Hey, what's going on YouTube? Right now it is 1.46 a.m. I couldn't sleep. So I was thinking about my next video and what I was going to do. And I wanted to do this video for the longest, but every time something came up, I just took the opportunity and, you know, and started vlogging. So this video is going to be since everybody's sleeping and I'm here by myself. I wanted to talk about why my video is called Love Each Day. It's kind of a backstory to that and I would love to share it with you guys. Love each day. Yeah, cause I'm not promised tomorrow. So a lot of you are asking yourselves why I call my channel Love Each Day. And my channel has a meaning to it. And the reason why I say Love Each Day is because a long time ago, when um, my sister was in the hospital, and I was back and forth taking care of her, I kind of forgot to take care of me. And basically, I got really sick, and they gave me the news. I went to the doctors first. I got a physical, and, and in my physical, it came out that I was, you know, I was diabetic. I was taking medication, and but still, I wasn't really taking care of myself the way I was supposed to take care of myself. Um, I was going to the hospital, not eating the right things, because I used to um, stay with her overnight, and sometimes, you know, I had no choice but to buy something in the cafeteria, and, you know, sometimes I didn't make the right choices when I should, because diabetes and heart failure runs in my family. And um, I'm going to put my camera a little bit more. Sorry, you guys. I had to move my camera because it was all the way down here. So I got really sick. I was, t I was taking care of my sister, and I didn't really take care of myself like I was supposed to, you know. And while I was going through that, I guess I wasn't feeling the effect as much because I was just so worried about my sister and her health. And I wasn't paying, paying any attention to my own, you guys. So after my sister passed away... I basically started feeling really sick. I started like feeling pain in my stomach really bad to the point where I ended up hospitalized a couple of times. And when I went to the hospital a couple of times, they ended up discharging me and I ended up going back to the hospital the same day because I had the same pains. I mean, they kept giving me medication for my pain to go away. But as soon as I came home, you know, like my pain started again and it was really bad and I was I would throw up. At that very moment, I didn't know that you know, I was really sick. My whole body started shutting down. I started feeling like my organs started shutting down and I started feeling sick, like not myself. I went back to the hospital that same day and my husband got really aggravated and he went and told the doctors, if you guys don't find out what's wrong with my wife, you know, I'm going to sue you guys. I mean, he was just mad about the them telling me the same thing. Like he was just frustrated at that point. That's the reason why he had to take it to that level. And thanks to him, because he, you know, once you speak lawsuit you know everybody wants to be all scared and you know do the right thing so this time the doctors were like okay we're gonna check they took pictures of my insides you know i everybody if everybody knows what that is you have to drink a liquid and then they put you in this big machine and they throw pictures of your inside and that's what they did to me and i found out that my pancreas was really swollen and it was really bad and it wasn't working they rushed me upstairs they gave me a room and i stood hospitalized for two weeks and if i didn't go to the hospital one day earlier they said I would have never made it. I just feel blessed to be alive, you guys. I feel blessed to be alive because that was happening all within less than a year that my sister passed away. And now I'm taking care of myself. I just found out I was type 1. Now, for the rest of my life, inject myself. I inject myself like four times a day. And I got to do that to live because, you know, the pancreas is something that helps break the sugars. And now that's not working. So now, you know, I have to inject myself for, the, for my sugars to break easily. You know, and I'm still learning about my sickness. I don't know a lot about it. I don't know about if you guys heard about pancreatitis, but I'm learning still about it. I know what I need to know about my diabetes. It's hard, you guys, because I'm in a strict diet where I'm only supposed to eat, like, lettuce. They want me to eat, like, one carb a day. So, you know, it's been really hard. I've been struggling with that because, you know, I'm Spanish, so I eat a lot of not healthy food. You know, as much as Spanish food is delicious, but it's not healthy. You know, rice has a lot of starch in it. I really can't eat a lot of starchy foods. So it's kind of hard. You know, everybody around me eats and it's just really, really hard, especially me. You know, I love food. But who doesn't love food? I mean, I love food. And I get tempted really easily. I think that's like my biggest weakness. You guys, it might sound silly, but I, I love food. It's been hard since I found that out. It's just been hard, you know, and all I've been trying to do is live my life and enjoy my time with my family all my family died of the same sickness so it's kind of scary my father died of diabetes you guys my mom died of diabetes my sister died of kidney failure and she also had diabetes so it scares me that all my family died young 
And my sister was the youngest. You know, she was 40 because, you know, it's kind of hard to swallow. And I just feel like my testimony is that I think the Lord had to basically put me through that so I can humble myself, so I can pray to him, so I can ask him. Right now, I'm trying to do things right as I... I'm trying to spend as much time with my family as I can. You know, I've been feeding the homeless. A lot of people don't know that about me. I feed the homeless. I go out there, you know, I don't do it every day because I'd be lying if I tell you guys that. I don't do it every day, but when I have leftovers and we drive around because there's a lot of homeless people, like every time I drive around downtown, you know, it just breaks my heart. And a lot of people just don't like giving because they feel like these people, you know, they don't need it. They're lying about money, but I'm all about giving. You know, it doesn't matter. Food ain't nothing to me. You know, I'm not rich. You know, I struggle myself, but I love helping others, though. That's what I was taught. My mom always used to feed the homeless, so I got it from her. And, you know, I'm trying to do the best that I can. As you guys can see, all my vlog, I try to, when I vlog, you guys see me always with my family. That's my life right now. That's all I spend time with is my family, you know, my grandkids. You know, right now, that's what makes me happy, and that's all I care about right now. Let me let y'all know something. Ever since I've been vlogging and I've been, that this YouTube thing has just been so helpful to me because I suffer from anxiety and I suffer from depression. So it's hard for me to function every day. But this gave me, like, it helped me because it's like, oh, I got I got something to look forward to. Okay, I'm going to make this video. I'm going to be doing this. And I also do it for memories. Like, my, I want my grandchildren to look back and be like, you know, that's how my grandmother was. That's how my, that's how she felt. I want to leave all my feelings. I want to leave a legacy behind, you know, and I want to try to live as positive as possible. And I'm in a place right now where negativity does not exist, cannot exist. Ever since, you know, I've been praying to God and getting closer to him, you guys, I've been noticing the devil's attacking me. Like, it's, it's attacking me in every angle. And it's just crazy the way people just don't have hearts because I just lost my sister. I've gone through so much. And dealing with my sickness, injecting myself everywhere I go, I really can't go to a lot of hard places because, you know, sometimes I feel sick. It's just hard to manage that. And then... To turn around and see drama here, drama there. In the place I am right now, I don't pay attention to negativity. Every time there's something negative come my way, I just leave it in God's hands. Because there's nothing else I can do. I don't want to live the short amount of life that I have. I don't want to live fighting with people. All I do with negative people is I pray for them. I don't hate nobody, you guys. I don't have hate for no one. I don't have hate for no one. Even if I got into arguments with you in the past, even if... You know, we didn't leave in good terms. I don't hate anybody. I don't have it in my heart to hate anybody. I really don't. And you know what? I don't really care if no one believes in me because I know that God knows my heart. It, you know, I really keep to myself, you guys. I really don't have a lot of friends. Like I said, every vlog that you guys see is family members. I really try to get close to people that love me and understand me. And that's all I care about right now. I'm trying to live my life as happy as possible, you guys. In my heart, my children, my grandkids, you know, my family, I'm rich. That's how I see my life, rich because I have them in my life, you know. I wake up happy just to wake up to see my family and to share with them and to, you know, love them. And that's all I care about. Right now, I just feel like I'm in a really good place. I'm at peace. And I'm really thankful for the people that I have around me. You know, I'm just so thankful because they try so hard to, like, get me out of the house. You know, you guys, I'm like, I'm not a big fan of going out. I'm not. This is why I think I don't have a lot of friends. I've, I'm not a clubbing type of person. I am not... A drinking type of person and I can't anyways I can't I'm limited to a certain amount of things this is why I don't like going out I don't too much like going out in public but you know my kids my niece especially you know they're always trying to take me out and be like no you need to get out and I just appreciate that see times like this where I can't sleep is right now it's 2 oh two in the morning and I can't sleep so this right now helps me at least do something and get it out of my chest because a lot of people were like, Love Each Day, where you got that from? And it's so funny <laughs> that I got Love Each Day, it touched me. And I didn't get it because I invented, you know, that's something that I invented. Just came up with a creative thing like that. I got Love Each Day. If you guys look it up, like on YouTube, it's going to come out that is a, uh, that's like a little scene I got from the movie. I got that from the movie. Let me see. I forgot the movie. Let me see if I remember. It's Descent. The movie Descent. And it was about a girl, which is, the, the story was stupid. It was crazy. I'm probably going to laugh about it. But it was about a married man giving a chain that said love each day to, to his lover. And, you know, even though I didn't take it as that, I just love the little quote. Like, I'm like, wow, that's, that out of the whole movie, I liked that little quote. And, I, and it stuck with me all this time. When I went through what I went through and the whole world turned around when I found out my bad news, when I decided to do YouTube, that just popped up in my head because it always stuck with me. That's how that came out. 
So Love Each Day, I decided to name my channel that because it's something meaningful, something that it means a lot to me. I'm loving each day. That's what I deci I'm deciding to do. I love each day. If you guys feel like somebody else is attacking you, pray for them. You know, like going back and forth is just like disturbing to me because it's just it's not time for that. Life is short and you're going to look back at your life. You know when they say that life flashes before your eyes when you die and you see, you know, a little movie of your life. I don't want the movie of my life to be that I'm beefing with somebody and I'm like back and forth. And I just decided like that's not I don't want that to be my movie. I want my movie to be peace. I want my movie to be you know, to for me to see all the loving things that I've done in my life. Because, you know, you're going to see the bad and you're also going to see the good. And I'd rather see more good than bad. That's why I'm trying to create new memories. That's why I'm trying to live my life the best that I can. Because I think that when you get closer to God, the devil knows. And he tries to attack you that way. And he also tries to put fear in you. I've seen my mom die. I've seen my father die. I've seen my sister die. So I'm obsessed with that. It's like it's scary to me to even think about that. And I just wanted to share the story with you guys. And I wanted you guys to know the real reason and the real meaning behind love each day. I think I'm done. Look. I painted my nails pink. I'm trying to let my own nails grow, you guys. I used to put, um, I used to put fake nails, right? And I used to get bad fungus on my nails. And, but I didn't care. I just always wanted to look cute. I can't have it longer than a week because I'm allergic to the acrylic they put on the nails. So I really can't leave it on for So I used to feel like I used to waste mo a lot of money for just having it a week. And then I would have to let my nails breathe. So I decided, you know what, to go all natural. I decided to go natural and I really can't afford to put a nail on and one of my skin to break because as soon as a skin break, I can lose my fingers, I can lose my hand and I'm not trying to do that. So I'm trying to let my own nails grow and I think I'm doing good. I bought like a lot of stuff for my nails. Like I bought like nail hardener, I smashed raw garlic and I put it in my nails and I let it sit there for a while for a second. Art and it's, it's working. It's like growing. I'm happy. So you guys. As soon as these nails um, dry, I'm going to go to sleep. And I'm kind of glad that I shared the story with you. I'm kind of glad to get out of my chest. I wanted to do this video for a long time. I really haven't had that time to make this video and to sit down and actually take my time. And also, it's a perfect time because my grandchild is sleeping and it's really noisy in the daytime. I really can't work like that. And I have a lot of things going on too. Day, so, you know, I'm kind of glad I shared this story with you. I hope my story could inspire somebody else. And I hope you guys love it. If you have, if you guys have any comments, leave a comment below. And if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. Remember you guys, like I said before, I love each day. If I smile with you.